I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. We gotta find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Hey, I think I found a way in. Yes, Amy. What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened? Should be released by now. The university was necessary to protect them. Yeah. Guessing your little video on the news. 
Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my truth. By the attack, we still don't have a final death toll, but we do know that most of the dead are security personnel from Warlock Solutions. Manufacturers need to kill the civilian bodies at the cost of their own. No medical Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. You owned this place since 1999? 
Why didn't you tell me, Will? No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. forward. I'll, I'll find you find on the countermeasures complete. complete. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. forward. I'll, I'll find you on the countermeasures complete. complete. Did you find something? Paint. And it's still wet. I think someone was here recently, Jack. You may want to stay here until we make sure it's safe. Yeah, I think you're right. Let me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button.
Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. Thick. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. I can't insert the date yet. Here goes nothing. corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. Thank God. Uh, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? to a time machine and he left it in the trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works.
No, nothing I can make sense of. Okay, it's perfect. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't. know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul?
I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation, and as you die, one way was into us with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. We find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous.
the treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. You're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. Mm -hmm. Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Trader. Was that what all that commotion was about? Yep. Yeah. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was it? Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't, uh... What? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real, this time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna... Share it with me. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna use the restroom. So, leave you hang in here for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rumrow? Martin. I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. 
filling Paul's head with your constant alarm, and distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rule the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. Sir. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told you. No. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. Alright, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, hey. listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. I will put in a good word for you. I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Oh, yeah. 
What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> OK. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. Is but that a good answer? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess. Yeah. Love work. Hold oh, me right shit. there! Shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, hey what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. Yeah, I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that?
The second machine. Where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched. Like, you've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular, you and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof, I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. At this point, they're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate. I'll be here. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's ghost files. Remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You want the blicker. Fiona. 
Lab stutter proof. Stay here. Stutter, where are you going? There are chronon harnesses up here. We need them. 